Hello, welcome to another video of the Indian Century. This video is all about Kudungallur Bharani. Sri Kurumba Bhagavati Temple is a Hindu temple at Kudungallur, Trishu district in Kerala. Bhadragali, a popular form of the great goddess, is worshipped in Kerala as Bhagavati, Mahakali, Chamunda and Karyamkali Murti and is seen as the most auspicious form preserving the good. Kodangalur was once a port city under the Chera kings of Tamil Nadu and an integral part of their capital Mahodayapuram. Meena Bharani is a celebration of the cult of Mother Goddess and an annual congregation of oracles at the Kodangalur Bhagavati temple. This temple was constructed by Cheraman Pirumal. Also, the first Shaktiya Puja was performed by a tear from Malabar. Oral histories recognize the deity as Kannagi of Silapadikaram, very closely related to Pattani cult in Buddhism. Korikallamudal marks the beginning of the festival. This involves the sacrifice of cokes and shedding of their blood. Rituals conducted by a fisherman called Palaka Velen are the festival specialties. The tying of flags and banyan trees and mandrits around the temple specify the beginning of the period of Bharani. Ashwati Kavatindal, one of the most important rituals, takes place on the Ashwati Astrosum. The devotees and Kumarans or oracles rush into the Sanctum Sanctorum and run three rounds around the temple, establishing their presence to the deity by singing and dancing in frenzy. Wearing bright red clothes wrapped around their bodies and heavy waist belt decorated with tiny metallic balls, they perform frenzied dances with divine ecstasy. Their heavy anklets around the legs produce vehement vibrations in tune with their vigorous tits. With the curved blades of their sacred sabers, they repeatedly smite their forehead, making a sacrificial offering of their own blood to the deity, declaring their communion with the mother goddess. Kavutindal is held amid songs of devotion and those that feature vulgar and obscene words. The Devi Stotram and the Teripata are the two distinct strands of Bharanipata. The Devi Stotram traces the kindness and glory of the goddess, dealing with her various conquests and her origin. The oracles would calm down only when the blood is spilled. Most of them even don't apply medicine on the wound. Velichapadu or Komaram are the mediators between God and its devotees. They are the followers of Goddess Badrakali and are considered as the prophets of common man. Teripata, on the other side, are songs with explicit sexual content, praising every aspect of the goddess, especially her sexuality. The festival was born out of the strategy of upper caste Hindus during the rise of Brahmanical hegemony in Kerala during the 8th century and subsequent marginalization of local traditions to usurp a Buddhist center that had existed there. 
The erotic song sung today is considered to be originated from the Azim languages used by the local people and the Buddhist monks against upper caste Hindus who try to take over the Buddhist center. Visitors including foreigners and non-Hinduists are even getting influenced and assimilated into the atmosphere. They even get involved in the performances along with the locals. Some of them enter a trance-like state and require more time and support from the relatives to get back to the normal state. We will be able to witness several oracles passing through the stage in different premises of the temple. <laughs> People from different parts of Kerala and Tamil Nadu raise this place to participate in this grand festival taking place after the harvest season. We will be able to notice several shops selling toys, utensils, makeup items, confectionaries and Ayurvedic medicines around the temple premises. Also, there are several artists who are here to entertain the devotees with their creations. At the end, the oracles give their blessings to devotees and return to their villages along with their relatives and supporters. Thanks for watching. To watch more festive videos, subscribe my channel.